Hello, how y'all doing today? How are how are y'all doing today? How's it going? Hello, hola, como esta? Como esta? Hola, como esta? Gather, gather, people gathered, gathered. Hey y'all. Hey Diddy. Hey Kanok. Kanok. Diddy. Okay. It's Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Who is it? I can't see who it is. Wait a minute. Oh, Kanok. <laughs> Ooh, I appreciate y'all. I didn't know Alza came in on the uh, live yesterday too to help us out. And Charlisa came toward the end. I appreciate y'all, man. It'd be wild outside. If you haven't already, we did do an indie uh, live yesterday on the tube. Okay. So we didn't have a little Java over here. We had a little indie read over there at the same back time on that same back chento. <coughs> I saw it. Oh, man. Yours, mine, ours. I can do this for hours. I can talk to you for hours. No saying, yeah, come back. There goes Susu coming up in here late. I saw Car Pusher was over there. Mimi Dollars was over there. I saw everything late. It's a good thing I went back and looked. You know what I mean? Your mine hours hours. Uh, they just played that on um, the thing. Whatever. All right, so this is going to be a little job. It's gonna be a little love read, okay? Uh love situation. We're gonna discuss here today. We just gonna hop on in because time do be flying over here. Yay. How everybody doing today? How are y'all doing? How's it going? How's it going? Mm Yay. All right, let's get a situation going here. Let's see. What's the first thing that's coming out? What's the first thing coming out? But us, all of us here today. Turn it around. Be clear on what you want and put action to your goals. Be, feel, receive abundance. All that you desire is achievable. You got to do a little footwork. <laughs> Getting out your funk. Okay, I did a, a real quick one-two cleanse this morning. So I'm kind of, you know, so Diddy, I'm with you. Okay. You just getting up, sleepy, sleepy as heck, drove back from Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, you need to get some rest, okay? Go get you some rest, okay? Ain't too much can happen if you don't get ample rest, whatever that means to you. Mm, yay, mm, yay. Thank you, Kanoke, the grounder. The grounder. Because you know I wasn't thinking, okay? Yes, my bookings are open real quick. A little quick one, two. My bookings are open, all right? So let's see here. What do you have for these beautiful people? Regarding love, what is the situation? Very soon, okay? Flirt, okay? Getting to know each other, okay? Playfulness, okay? Heart to heart, trust, is safe, soulmates, okay. You had a good night rest, but was disturbed with a bad dream for the sake of time. What was the dream about? That's so crazy that you say that real quick because um, I was doing a little reading earlier as well. And it was about, uh, you know, the stuff that we talk about, right? Mindful, present, and aware. 
but also like more people than not have dreams that um, can be uh, futuristic, right? But it's important to remember that um, when it comes to dreaming and, and trying to figure out if it was something that just needed to be seen, if it was just something, you know, like I was saying on the live, maybe you slept wrong or something like that and had a bad dream, bad position and bad posture and stuff like that can cause a bad dream or what have you. But overall, you know, you do you check your you check your boxes, right? And it's like, is this something that is anxiety filled? Is something um, that is a fearful story that you're telling yourself that materialized in a dream in such a way, right? That you are seeing it like that. You know, you just have to make sense of it. That's why it's important to, if so need be, uh, create uh, keep a dream journal, because a dream journal will also help you to put the pieces together to certain situations and, uh, you know, what it is that you, you're you need to see and what it is that you know when you go into your reality which is the other side, right? You go into your reality and see what it is that you need to bring back here, what it is that needs to be worked on here, or how are things even working out that you may not even be um, knowledgeable of in the physical, right? Because there's so many different types of dreams. There's so many different um, types of things that we see, things that we experience on the other side is what we call it, whatever, because it's really not the other side. But um, it's a, a lighter existence. So you want to make sure that whatever it is, you know, there's an old uh, uh, saying in, in my family that um, if it's a bad dream, you got to tell somebody before nine in the mountain so that it won't come true. Uh, so, you know, you figure out how you operate. You know what I mean? But let's get into this read, honey. Okay, Kanok, because it can cause a bad dream. It can cause for you to, uh, you know, Go through some things that, you know, it, it really ain't what that is, right? All right. So, um, in this situation, okay, this situation is calling for you to trust and have real conversations, right? Uh, hear whoever this is. This is a slow burn, something that's going to take some time to, like, really uh, move forward. Maybe, you know, both of y'all got some stuff going on or what have you, but whatever this is, this is uh, a measurement, a measurement, a measure of everything that you've worked on so far. Where are you now? Right? That's why dating is so important. Right? I know that uh, there are many people that, you know, they waiting. I'm going to wait till God bring them in all this. God going to show you when they, when you know, they come and then they're going to make a move according to divine law. But overall, you still need to, you know, date and collect data. So maybe whoever this is, is dating. Yeah, yeah. So let's break it down one at a time because there is some playful, flirty energy here. Uh, you know, just having some fun and enjoying the moment here. And like actual dating, actual get to know each other, actual going places together, actual, uh, you know, creating uh, some type of memories and, and, real, and, and paying attention to, right? Because when it comes to dating and really getting to know people, you need all of the senses involved. It doesn't make sense to have only a few of the senses involved because then it's a false attachment. That's if you ask me, but nobody asked me. Okay? So, it's important to get all of the senses involved. Even, you know, it doesn't have to be sexual. Oftentimes, uh, and that's how you can tell where a person is coming from. Um, if you tell somebody that, you know, I'm dating, I'm dating around or what have you, and the first thing they think is that, you know, you fucking everybody that you dating. That's not how this works. Okay, where is your mind? Is that what you used to? Is that what you used to dating? Air, they fucking everything that they, you know, you think everybody is a whore? Okay. You think everybody got whoish tendencies? Okay. Because oftentimes people are bad judges of character. They are bad. They don't. They pick or fucked up. So that'll help you recognize real early. And if you start explaining yourself, you're gonna have to keep explaining yourself. So let it be what it is for those who needed to hear that. Also, when it comes to dating as well, courting. You want to be mindful of courting with uh, people, the wrong people. You want to be mindful of courting too quickly, right? Uh, uh, work on your attachment. Uh, what do you call it? Your attachment tendencies, right? Getting too involved too quick, getting too wrapped up too quick, getting too, uh, you know, c connecting extremely too quick. Now, there are instances, right? And it's rare. But there are instances where it's just one one person over the other just be knowing. All right? I've seen that. But overall, you know, in this day and age, hey, you got to be careful. Okay? Let me see, honey. got to be real careful, honey. 
what is this very soon making a decision clearly decide what you want that goes also with uh the two cards that i pulled earlier good morning what is this very soon honey judgment making a decision <laughs> they said what they said <clears throat> this uh light tower is actually red so this got a lot to do with whatever it is that you've been through. What is the story that you told yourself? What is the story that you have lived and experienced? Based on your experience, based on what it is that you know, right? Based on what it is that you've gone through, grown through, what, uh, based on what it is that has been told to you, what it is that you have actually learned on your own, it, this is where your decision comes in. You weigh the pros and cons of what it is that you want, how you expect things to go and allow things to motherfucking flow. All right, there is a shipwreck here. There's a shipwreck at the bottom. See that ship that's wrecked down there? So this may be that you are coming out of a space where you um, are getting over some type of hurt, some type of, you know, issue. Okay, no vogue. All right, getting over some type of issue. And now you are, you know, you are like, yeah, all right. Put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. I'm ready, baby. What's out there? What's out there? And so, you know, you walk out there. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, what is this flirt? Get out there, mix and mingle. Be approachable, but also know um, what you will and will not tolerate, what your triggers are, what it is that, you know, it's just going to be a no. Stick to your nose. Let your nose be nose and your yeses be yeses. Uh, be mindful of uh, some things that may require. That's why you want to use your discernment because sometimes something that may be a trigger may actually be fear. Right, so you want to make sure that it's uh something that you will say no to, or is it something that you know? Let's let's just see, right? But how long will you see? <laughs> okay, all right. What is this flirt? So I don't think this is a relationship, the hierophant. All right, there's a way of doing things. Stick to your beliefs. Stick to what it is that you. You know, know what it is that you are leaning at about and what it is that, like, this is just going to absolutely, this is what it is. This is how it has to be in certain instances, especially when it comes to your principles, when it comes to, you know, boundaries, when it comes to, you know, um, maybe this is something deeply embedded in you because that root chakra is still over there in that other light tower. I just noticed there's a light tower behind the light tower, too. Okay. Somebody may be watching you. What is this hierophant card, honey? The Empress. You know what it is that you want. So you extend your lighthearted energy to others and just be where, you know, you attract. It's coming to you, whatever it is. It's coming to you. It's meant for you. You, uh, you know, of course, will be using your discernment. You've been through a lot. If you're an Empress, you've been through a lot, right? On a number of levels, right? So it's like, no matter how old you are, you've been through a lot. So you, that's why you go back into your checklist on where you are right now with it. Okay. What is this? Um, deepening a bond. A deepened bond. Deepened connection. The nine of swords, right? So there may be some type of uh, something that you need to get over when it comes to your thought process here. Or when it comes to like some of you may be meeting someone here that um, kind of fucks with your wiring. And I think we've discussed this before. Because when it happened to me, I don't like it. My wiring be fucked up when I'm really like, yeah, that's that's my common sense leaving the built-in. Uh, I don't know. Right? Uh, whatever it is that you had no idea was a repressed uh, feeling, a repressed emotion, or maybe even something that is pulled up and out of you because of someone that you meet. That nine of swords may be, uh, you know, but you getting to know someone, maybe they are reminding you of something. And here's the thing as well. It's levels to everything, right? So when we meet people, um, they will have, you know, you dated, right? So some people will have some of the things that you've already, uh, some character characteristic traits or some personality traits or what have you that are similar to some of the people that you've already dated before, but it'll be different. It'll be heightened. It'll be more evolved, but it still can trigger you a little bit. <laughs> oh, I've been there. Oh. <laughs> so I get it. All right. Let's see here. What is this nine of swords? So just relax and calm the fuck down. Do your grounding, whatever your grounding is. Touch some wood. Okay. Drink some water. 
okay? Um, if you, you know, smoke some bitch, okay, from the Book of Pimp C, if you are into the space where, you know, you this is what's happening, where your mind just start going all types of places and you kind of get become staying offish and just get to overthinking the whole conversation, trying to overthink everything that they say and overanalyzing everything that they say and just overly mental, too much mental involvement instead of just going with the flow. So I think that whoever this is that is coming into your life is going to teach you or show you um, how to just chill the fuck out, right? This may be a relaxing energy. This may be someone who... Uh, it is what it is. He took his hat off. Okay. All right. What is this playful energy chair? But it can be interesting when you're wiring. Like, what the hell? Why am I talking like that? Why am I? It's like when you have a crush when you're younger. And it's like, okay, there they go. And you just got to be looking goofy as hell. Oh, man. You be goof tripping over shit. I fell in a ditch one time. I remember like it was yesterday. Here I come. <laughs> I'm feeling a ditch. bitch. <laughs> I'm going to go on a date and feeling a ditch. I'm trying to be too cute, man. Politely, slowly fail, man. That shit was funny. All right. What is this playfulness chat? Just have fun, man. The magician. Because this may be someone that's very charismatic. This may even be someone who... Um, this is you going into your resourcefulness, your your resources, digging into your resources, how to think, how to how to move, how to feel, you know what I mean? <clears throat> what to wear. Okay. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't overthink your outfit, bitch. You know what I mean? Um, because whoever this is like you for who you are. They like you for who you are, okay? So this some good energy coming through. After last week, okay. After last week, okay, we got some better energy. You fell off a park scooter? <laughs> I'm telling you. Be like, um, uh, be goofy. Just a, it just be like, okay. Yeah. Then you don't want to see him no more. I don't want to see this person no fucking moment. God damn. Ugh. Oh my goodness. So embarrassing. <laughs> So you can't be being be embarrassed. <laughs> Y'all already got a heads up, man. Just calm the fuck down. Calm down. Breathe. Count from 12. Backwards. Slowly. Woo. Anxiety might kick in or something like that. You be rehashing the past or whatever. What is this uh, magician card with this playfulness? Turn on and let that ca ca uh, charisma flow. Ten of Wands, because it's the end of a cycle. It's the end of a way that you used to view yourself. Maybe some of you have went through some type of change or what have you. There is a pigeon. That looks like a pigeon. I don't know if it's a dove. I think it's a pigeon sitting on top of these Ten of Wands. But you don't have to be so stressed out or overwhelmed. Just relax. Ten of Wands is just uh, too much baggage. Just let that shit go. Uh, you ain't who you were. You're not attracting who you used to attract, Okay. Because uh, more than likely, whoever this person is doesn't have some of the same uh, traits. Um, they have some, they're more evolved. You know what I mean? All right. So we outside meeting and mingling, basically. Okay? We going outside to meet and mingle, basically. Okay? Keeping our legs crossed. All right? Now then, what is this heart-to-heart -heart conversations? Seven of Cups. Make sure that you don't be in a fantasy world, ho. Don't start just feeling, oh my goodness. Get to talking all, going deep in conversation. Get to feeling some type of way. Pull back. Okay? Anchor yourself. Okay? She slowed down right there when I said pull back. Anchor yourself. Okay? Safety net. Getting too caught up right there. Seven of Cups. Y'all gonna have some type of conversation and it's gonna be like, you. it's gonna be unbelievable. Like, what? And the fuck, okay? I can't believe this can't be real. Touch some grass, okay? Before you let somebody touch your ass. Sacred. Hello. Protect the nectar. Thank you. The lover's card came out. So before making a choice, make sure that you are very balanced. Before saying yes to certain things, make sure it's a balanced yes or a balanced no. Okay. What is this Seven of Cups, Chad? We outside, baby. King of Swords. 
somebody that's communicating exactly what it is. So it's not even like they plan on your emotions or your feelings. I don't think, but it's a seven. It's the King of One, King of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, it's somebody very direct, someone very um, straightforward, straight up. Uh, they communicate what's, what it is and what it's going to be. But there she go. Look at her. Oh, but I'm so smitten by him. Ma'am. Stop. Stop. Calm down. Out in this seven of cups. Toes twinkling and shit. You know what I mean? And especially if, you know, you got a little tingle tingle or something like that. A little tingle. Okay. Got a little tingle. Okay. You need to touch some grass. All right? It's a good sign. However, okay, you don't want a good sign to turn into just, you know, a good time. Hello. All right. So whatever it is that this person is communicating, you just want to make sure that you're not falling head over heels real quick. All right? I meant to go over the love languages with y'all, too. Because this is like maybe some of you have... Affirmations is your love language. Words of affirmation, and they just saying all the right stuff. You know, if you the type of person that fall for love bumming, and you just really paid attention to how you moving with the ninety day journey to mindfulness, all right. So you figure out from your observations in the ninety day journey to mindfulness that they said this, and I was just really doing this right here, but they really told me the truth on the cool right there, and I was looking over because I'm just feeling how I'm feeling because of what they said. If you know that your love language is word, words of affirmation. And you falling off real quick like that, courting with people and then feeling like, you know, you just want to be, they your everything before they even become your everything. I need you to go get the five ways to master your love language because you on the low end. Okay. When you go over, when you listen to that lecture, you'll see exactly what I mean. But I'll get better uh, at uh, discussing that with y'all. Okay. Titty But yeah, that's what it's looking like. King of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Oh, this is everything I ever dreamed of. Urgh. Like, girl, boy, sir, ma'am, calm down, touch some grace. Okay. What is this trust? You don't want to trust people too fast. Okay, trust is earned, not just giving the fuck. Don't play no games with yourself. Don't let nobody play no games with you. You hear me? What is this trust card? For these lovers, potential six of wands. This may be someone that you can trust, but you still got to chill out. Because it's a lot of kissing and going on. Oh, I'm so smitten by him. We got one, two. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five cards with them together. I don't see codependency. I don't see... Um, What's the other one that's uh, 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 caution? Pay attention to the red flags. Like, there's some cards in here that would tell me something different. I'm not picking that up. Even intuitively, I'm not picking that up. Just take your time. Stop hurrying up. And then come back over here. You said, what did you do? You said, what did you do? Okay. When someone sparks all dead in me, I say I, I satisfy myself before before I am in company with them. Keep my head clear. Now, that is an old school trick. So, 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 that came through here. Yeah, unrequited. Thank you, Mexican. Mexican. Mexican dot JPG. Ma'am. Okay. But, yeah, you can do that, too. But uh, the old trick with that, too, with uh, satisfying yourself before you go do something, it's also like uh, you can, uh, if you like for the men, they be really feeling like, man, I got to have it, man. I just, man, she just, he just, you know, I just got to have it. Rub one out and see if you still got to have it. Okay, that means if you rub one out and still got to have it, then okay. You know what I mean? Go do your thing. I don't know, man. Because I try not to know, Susan, why you said that? Okay. Because some of y'all look. And Dee Dee tell me how she do it too. All right. And then you still go. And now, <laughs> it's taking you even longer. <laughs> it's taking you even longer. <laughs> All right, leave it alone. We're not going in there. That was last week. Y'all should have brought that up last week. <clears throat> but this looks like something here that is going to be um, A-OK. -okay. All right. Um, what is this in his hand? I never noticed that. 
This may be someone who has a lot going on here. The way that he looking. He may have a lot going on, a lot that he is doing. It don't look like he uh, tricking and sticking though. So that's cool. Whoever this is. Man, woman, chick, or child. What is this six of wands? This is a lot of balance, right? Uh, both of you are well on your way. And together, y'all are even more so on y'all way here. And look at that. It's a go. It's a go. They go to the flag. It's a go. Okay. All right. So we're going to get us another little story out today, it looks like. Because this is a cute little story. What does this say for you to love, Chad? What does this say for you to love, honey? Ace of Wands. Clarity coming through. This is Passion Ignited. Yeah, somebody been single for a minute. They just been waiting on reserve, okay? Been waiting on reserve to figure out what it is that you want, okay? What it is that you are manifesting. The Emperor and the Nine of Pentacles. Taking a, taking a chance. To, maybe this person reminds you of your father or something. Good look. Maybe this person reminds you of your father here. But uh, with some, there's some type of communication that will be shared between the two of you um, here before you consummate this situation here. I don't know, man. Maybe you're inviting this person over and cooking. Maybe this is a home-cooked meal between you and this person. It's something intimate with this Ace of Wands. There's something intimate about this Ace of Wands. And not necessarily uh, getting bumping ugliness. Okay. But let's see because this does look like a phallus. It looks like a veined up phallus. Yay. Hitting that thing with malice. <laughs> Calm down. It's disrespectful. All right. What is this Ace of Wands, honey? Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. Okay. Fitty, fitty, baby. It's fitty, fitty. This is golden. This is a golden opportunity. This is aligned in the stars, possibly. You know what I mean? Maybe you look at your, uh, what you call it, and it's like, oh, you're supposed to meet someone right now. Like, oh, I'm going to meet someone. Go outside. Oh, you can't meet them at home unless you went to online dating. I still don't understand how y'all do that. I mean, it's cute, but I don't know about that. Okay. But the Six of Pentacles is like, uh, you're, you're going to figure something out. You're going to see something for what it is. Oh, boy. It's a bald-headed man in here. It's a bald-headed man in this picture looking sideways with some big eyes. Oh, it's a lady back there in the back, too. Eight of Swords. If you are all in your head about, okay, is this real or what is this? Because this may be some slow moving energy to even get to this anyway with those pinnacles. Then you got that ace. It's like that ace of wands is firing, is lighting up the pinnacles, if that makes sense. So there's something about passion being ignited on the earth plane instead of uh, some more wands coming out. And it may confuse you. It may have you caught up in your head. You may feel like, I don't know if I'm going to move forward. Blah, 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 blah. You stay there asking for signs. Okay, give me another sign. Like, ain't nobody going to keep playing with you like that. They are not going to keep playing with you like that. Either you're going to take this as what it is or, you know, what you're going to do. Barbecue through a meal do. I'm trying to figure it out. This is someone who is going to touch you right. Um, they may even smell good or it's that you smell good. And they just like your scent, your pheromones. They are, that are, they are addicted to that. That may be even what drew them to you on some Pepe Le Pew shit. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Let me see, honey. What is this? Uh, this is your soulmate. Soulmates are made in heaven. And they trinkle down to the earth. Soulmates are made in heaven. And they trinkle down to the earth. Uh, what is this soulmate called? Hmm? Baby, hold on to me. Look at pretty girl. Okay, you in this car right here, pretty girl. I would show you, cause but then you're going to be like, I don't see shit but a bubble. Okay, Lulu? Yeah. They ears sit up a little bit. You can, you can, you can tell a lot from a person by their ears. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Okay. What is this soulmate card to... Three of cups. Three cups are better than one. 
I need you, I need you. Somebody popping the bubbly. Okay. Something's gonna happen. Maybe this is about the third or the fourth date, and it's like, man, oh my God. Where you been all of my life? Tell me where you've been hiding. Hold on. <clears throat> I've been searching for someone like you that I can share my life with. How did you get out of my dreams? How did heaven lose you? I've been searching for someone like you that I can share my life. This time we got a good love. I need to go listen to it. One of my favorite songs since I was little. I'm telling you, man. Look. Three of cups. Okay. It's going to feel good. There's a coming together. There's a coming together. Hey. A coming together. Wait. A coming together. Yay. Let me make sure it ain't that bullshit y'all be seeing with the three of cups chat. But I feel like this is a reconciliation because it's a soulmate. So it's somebody that you may have dealt with in the past life, in the past, overall. You know what I mean? Whatever. Let me see, Chad. The water is clear. The water, which the water is clear. Look at this. The water is clear. What does that mean? All right, ain't no muddy waters, ain't no muddy feelings. Maybe this is someone that is emotionally available. About time. Because if you get the fucking with people that's emotionally unavailable, they're going to try to play you, and they're going to be playing themselves at the same damn time. Okay? Anytime you try to play somebody, remember, you're playing yourself and that person. Hello. Double the whammy. Double whammy. No parking, baby. No parking on the dance floor. We be. We be. What do they be saying right there? Calm down, because we have another story to come out. Let me see what this three of cups is. What is this three of cups? Because it just looks like ain't no muddy, ain't no murky waters, ain't no bad blood between y'all. You know this, this can you know it ain't like it's gonna be perfect. Now that's what y'all need. Cause y'all need to slow down. Okay. Then nobody say it was gonna be perfect. Then nobody say that it was gonna be you know all rainbows and butterflies. Everything gonna have its challenges and all that. Can y'all work through it? Can y'all grow through it? it? Is the real question. Quit playing with me. What is this three of cups chair? Eight of pentacles. I tell you, look, they got to work on it. Step by step. Boy, you're turning me upside down. Round and round. Boy, you're turning me up inside out. Round and round. Hey, 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 hey. All paths lead back to you and this person. Uh, do yourself do yourself love and your, your healing work, ladies. Okay? I know I told y'all before a little quick one two to do about that with a pink candle. We'll talk about it another time. Do y'all do yourself love shit to bring all of you back to you so you can be grounded and whole and Releasing anything that really ain't real. Like, get all this shit out of me that's not real, man. Help me out. <laughs> Help me see. <laughs> Pass that candle through your body. Help me see. Help me. Pull it out. Uh, Got to see clear, baby. Ooh, what is this eight of pentacles? Maybe there's somebody you work with, but this is something we're working on, right? One seed at a time. Stop trying to plant and, and build a forest with somebody when your ass, you know. Ain't got that much temperature right now. What is this eight of pentacles? Upside down page of pentacles. Maybe this person has a child as well, but overall I feel as though, you know, y'all making plans and sticking to them and taking your time. It's slow moving energy. All right. All right. So the only person that came out was the king of swords. No other people came out. Well, the empress did come out. All right, so that could be just about any of y'all. The King of Swords as well. So let's look into another spiel. Don't want to waste no energy, okay? Why waste it? It'd be fun, but then it's like, ah, the fun's over. That was fun. Yay. Okay, when you get on the ride and it's just yay. Don't get on that ride no more. God damn. 
Why ain't you wasting tickets? You know how many, you know how much it costs to get four tickets <laughs> to ride a ride? <laughs> Unless you at Disneyland or something. God damn. Think about it. What information do you have here? Let's, let's look into another situation, honey. We are in the summer, man. That's how some of y'all gonna get caught up to it. That's how you gonna know that if it if if it moved from the summer into the next season, fall, winter. What how, what's the seasons, y'all? Autumn, fall, winter, summer, winter, autumn, winter, whatever. All right. It moves from once it moves from one season into the next, and like okay. Bitch, we doing seasons around this motherfucker. Now, hold on. I don't know. We doing seasons. It's, it might just be going somewhere. Okay? Upside down. Boy, you're turning me inside out. I'm going to try these. Because I can't find my lip gloss. It's a little red one, two in the drawer. Okay, before we get into this next read so I can go. Got shit to do, man. Looking a little tired. <clears throat> Somebody daddy wanna see me, baby. I'm on my way. Okay. Spelling all the words out. O N space M Y space W A Y. Mm. Okay. Schmow. Oh, it's a kid. Boop, boop. What do you have here for these beautiful people in attendance with us here today, honey? What do you have for these beautiful people in attendance today? Uh, healing family issues. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Give it a chance. Reconcile. Okay, there's somebody going back to somebody. Getting to know each other. Making the effort, keep an open mind, deception, flirt. Oh, Lord, somebody a hoe. So, somebody is reconciling with a hoe. Just gonna keep it a hum, though. That's what it's looking like. So, we're just gonna clarify because I'm seeing it. Somebody is reconciling with a hoe, okay? If you know you got a hoe on your hands, keep your hoe, okay? Keep your hoe, okay? All right. I was listening to Bob, Bobby Womack earlier. <laughs> And the lady was in the comments saying that when that song came out, what song was I listening to? What that phony? I can't remember which Bobby Womack song I was listening to, okay, earlier. But um, a lady was in the comments and she said that she used to listen to that song. And um, her old man was just running, ripping and running the streets back in the day when that song came out. And she just stayed at home, was just crying. And she just sat in that bed. And she just sat in that bed. She said, I wish that I, um, if I knew then what I know now, she said, I would have let God choose my man. That's why it's important. Can't be out here saying who your man and who not. You ain't no man, girl. You know what I mean? You can't be saying, oh, that's my husband right there. Did he say that? Okay. Did he put a ring around your waist? All right. And not just a ring around your tub. All right. But yeah, somebody is dealing with a person here that um, has some deep-rooted issues with that healing family issues here and at heart to heart conversations maybe somebody is going to come in and apologize and want to get back together they want to reconcile and just you know start from scratch you know how it go you break up and be like we're just gonna start from scratch we're gonna start dating again it's orange juice okay i don't know why people be want to know like do y'all be putting liquor in these or something if i had liquor in here y'all would know because ain't no way in hell i'll be <laughs> it'll be a damn fool if i had some liquor going on so anyways Whoever this is, they y'all reconciling and trying to do the start from scratch and do something right, right here about this deception and this flirting. Somebody is putting in a lot of time and a lot of effort, and that's the thing. That's why some people get uh, caught up in a situation where they be like, um, "I can't believe they came back and was just really saying they gonna do this and they gonna do that and blah 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 blah," because you wasn't holding them to nothing, right? You were re you rewarding bad behavior. Like, change up. I ain't got time to talk about it today, man. Can't be. I'm just saying. Let me see. I might be lying on somebody. I don't want to lie on nobody, man. What's, what's going on here? I don't want to lie on nobody. But I'm just saying, if you know you got a hoe, you got to know what type of hoe you got. Okay? Um, and they're going to let you know. 
Okay? Like, when you having real conversations with them, right? And y'all just really sitting down and going over what done happened in the past. I just can't believe, like, because yeah, I still say some of y'all is extremely strong to deal with somebody that done cheated on you. Y'all strong. Mr. and Mrs. Invincible. I respect your game because ain't no way somebody is going to, you know, have a nice little gurney. Okay? I got growing to do. Ambulance, fire truck. Police, baby, what you want? Okay, exes or smiley faces. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, because it's too much to go on with that fucking around. Okay, so somebody is really taking somebody back, wanting to make it right. Somebody getting sweet talk. That's what it looked like. But let me calm down. Okay, what's going on here? Take somebody back that's been deceitful or wore a mask in the past. Let's just look at what the mask is before I get to saying what I'm seeing in here. What is this deception? I know what kind of hoe you got, man. That's what it all boiled down to. You can't say that you don't know what type of hoe you're dealing with. You know what I mean? That's why you got some, like, back in the day, a lot of women came to the realization that uh, no matter what a woman got going on, you just got some men that's going to treat all women the same. And that's what kind of hoe you're dealing with. They just treat all women the same. That's what kind of hoe you're dealing with. Okay. What is this uh, deception chair? Strength. Maybe it's a Leo. But whatever this is, look at that. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ten of Cups. Somebody is like, they may not have their shit together, but uh, trying to run in and say that they're going to make it right. They want to do the right thing. It may be some love bump because the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is like mischievous. Um, everything is about material things, material gain. Um, you know, maybe they're not good with money or they're not good with um, any of the, the worldly desires, right? They're not good with managing certain things here. They're good with, for appearance, but they're not good for nothing else right here. The star in reverse. Somebody that needs to heal. Page of swords. They got, whoever this is, their game ain't even what that is. Like, you can see through it, whoever you are, if you're paying attention. If you're not thinking with your whistle, okay, don't think or make decisions with your whistle, all right? Because when you think and make decisions with your whistle, knowing that what you're seeing is what you're saying, what it is is what it is. You know, if you allow people to keep on playing in your face, they're just going to keep on trying to find a different type of ways to play in your face. Like, okay, somebody that you have a strong connection with. What do you have here for these beautiful people, Chad? Queen of Swords, set boundaries. Use your logic over your emotion. Nip this shit in the bud. That's how I always see this card. Nip it in the bud. Cut it, cut it off at the root. Okay? But overall, let me get these other cards. But overall, I'm just seeing where, you know, you're going to be getting in, the, you know, having conversations with this person. Wanting to give this a chance. Reconcile and making it right. Let's get into this agreement, agreeing on certain things. And the thing is, sometimes when people reconcile, they don't uh, use their logic. Oh, you made me feel like this, but what is behind? What is the logic behind how they made you feel? What actually happened? What transpired? Right? You like if you say something like, like for instance, if you, whatever hoe this is, right? Because some of y'all dealing with a hoe, and it's not like they are actual real life prostitute. It's just that they, in their body, they ain't got no discipline. So, whoever this is that you're dealing with, like, for instance, if y'all reconciled, y'all had this conversation, and because you caught them, you know, texting, you caught them in somebody's inbox, you, it's something that you caught, right? You got proof of. Instead of you addressing it, like, you out here, you know, giving, uh, you know, um, out here, uh, spreading yourself thin, Okay. You out here uh, talking to and trying to, you know, get to know, trying to meet and all this right here. You know, I really feel like that's disrespectful or what have you. And, um, you know, I don't think that we can go any further if you're going to continue to do that on any level. Like, you got to really be clear. It's like manifesting something, bitch. So some of y'all might be in y'all feelings like, I just hurt my feelings that you, I saw that in there. See what I mean? So you saying that it hurt your feelings that you saw something in the inbox. It hurt your feelings that um, you caught them doing something. You're not putting no logic behind it. You're coming from your feelings. 
So what happens is now you done gave them another way to do stuff. Like, okay, so that hurt your feelings. I'm not going to let you see that no more. <laughs> if that hurt your feelings, I'm going to make sure I don't do that again. You see what I mean? Yo, if that hurt your feelings, it ain't even, it ain't even that you said that don't do it no more. You ain't saying that if you do it, like, I ain't putting up with that shit this way or that way, right? You got to be real clear. Like, manifestation, you got to be real clear. So you go in there with your feelings and shit. It really hurt me that you did this, that, and the other. And it was on the day of this, that, and the other. So now they're not going to do it on the day of that, this, that, and the other. They're going to make sure that they that you don't catch them. At. That's why, remember I told y'all. Hmm? I'm not ringing my bell. Remember I told y'all that you, you be mindful of how people respond to certain stuff you say or uh, certain things that you put out there so that you will know who you're dealing with. Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody ain't ready. All you got to do is give a person a little bit, and then you see, oh, this is how you'll work with just that little bit of that. This is how you'll work with, this is how you handle my feelings like that. Okay, this is how you handle me on the cool like that. Okay, okay, okay. I see it for what it is. Get out your feelings, all right? Your feelings are expensive, just like your energy, all right? Let me see, Chad. What is this that you have for these beautiful people? Because y'all got to remember, man. In order for you to not be codependent on somebody, in order for you not to rely on somebody to fill a void that is within you, it is very important that you set certain boundaries. It is very important that you know who the fuck you are. It is very important that you know what you will and will not tolerate. It is very important that you stand on what it is that you will and will not tolerate. Okay, because you give them a, you give a, uh, you give a dog enough rope, and like that's actual factual. Giving a dog enough rope is gonna hang itself anyway. But you don't want to be hung with the motherfucker, right? What do you have here for these beautiful people, Chad? Because I could be lying. What does this make the effort? The Empress and the Chariot. Be very assertive, very disciplined in the way that the direction that you are going. Connect from the shoulders and up because that's how we coming. All right. As long as you stay connected like a Rolex necklace, you should be fine. OK, as long as you are stranded in your discernment and the way that you connect and the way that you trust what it is that you are receiving, regardless of what me and anything and anybody else say, you need to know what, you, what the fuck you got going on. OK, because like I said, trust nobody. But what the most high? OK, everybody else can earn a little bit of trust, but not too much, because what humans are designed to fuck up. That's how they design. OK. All right. Now then. Somebody wants you to keep an open mind. Maybe they are trying to get you to see something a different type of way. Here, what is this keep an open mind, child? Eight of Pentacles. Keep an open mind. This takes time. Keep an open mind. Let's work on this and do it the way that we need to. This may even be that you are moving with someone or you live with this person or you are moving in with this person. Here, somebody may even be in a space where they want you to wait uh, for them to get their money right. That's on you. Okay, you can wait. <laughs> How are you going to wait? You need to be very clear about that. Like, wait. Child, please, I don't even wait on buses. All right? If a bus supposed to be there at a certain time, I'm going to be there about five minutes before that bus come. And if it ain't there, I'm going to start walking to the next bus stop and waste a little time. Because what? <laughs> Whatever. Not waiting too long. What is information do you have? So what y'all got going on? I don't know. What is this flirt? Somebody can't help they still. Like somebody told me. <laughs> I'm about to say, man, I just like hoes, man. <laughs> At least he a honey. <laughs> but I don't know if he a hundo with uh, people he deal with. My partner say, man, I just like hoes. You got you to gotta respect a man that know what, you know what I mean? You got to respect where a person come from. I just, man, motherfuckers say, I just like hoes, man. I just like trash ass hoes, man. And, and that's, you know, hopefully he tell the people <laughs> Okay, not waiting or running for a bus, all right? What is this flirt, please? What is this flirt card? Ace of Cups. See, all that reconciliation is somebody going to get right caught up with something else. Let me see, honey. The devil in the page of wands. 
whether it's a woman, man, whoever, the devil, they just easily tempted because they haven't, he did the inner child work. They are easily tempted. They think with that thing. That's like I said, don't make decisions with your Wilson. Do not make decisions with your Wilson. Okay. Period. Do not make decisions with your Wilson. Cause you gotta think about it, man. There's so much going on out here. What's what's old boy name? Dragon blood. <laughs> what's that motherfucker name that uh let everybody know that you can uh eat a little coochie and catch a little uh something going on in your throat right there. Get you a little throat cancer from eating a little coochie, okay? But uh what's his name? <laughs> Dragon blood. <laughs> what's his name, y'all? The actor. He came up missing. I mean, well, he ain't came up missing, but we don't hear about him no more. What's his name? Damn. Dragon Blood. What is his name? Charlie Sheen. Damn. Ooh. Yeah. Motherfuckers walk around here with HPV in their throat and walk around here with bacteria vaginosis in their throat. You know what I mean? Thinking it's a game out here. So somebody ain't, you know, they think of what they will. So they move what they will. So. It's just they got some learning to do, right? And that's what I go over too. Like if your if your love language is physical touch, on the low end, you have to, you know, really get into a space where you are you discipline yourself so that you won't just be out here feeding the flesh, um, making decisions based on fleshly desires, allowing your your flesh to override your logic, right? So that's what I have in that five ways to master your love language course is explaining how the low end of that love language physical touch, like if you've ever been molested or what have you, or that's just, you know, how you feel safe or secure in a relationship that you all, all the more reason. If, if physical touch is your primary love language, you overall need to be very much so um, uh, protecting yourself and not making decisions with your whistle, you see. Moving forward. So on the low end, this person is on the low end of physical touch. They just can't help it. They just like what they be liking. Okay. So let me see, honey. I don't want to, I, I mean, I, I don't like to be the bearer of bad news, but some of y'all know what y'all dealing with. If y'all broke up and then y'all get back together and somebody try to say, oh, it's because I figured out what it is. They always come back talking about, I figured out what it is, right? I figured out what it is, why I was doing stuff like this. <laughs> it's not funny, but I'm laughing. I'm going to go. take a nap. What do you have here? What is this? What do you want to clarify, Chad? The Emperor and the Ten of Wands. Whoever this is may uh, have a lot going on, a lot of responsibilities. Maybe this is the father of your child or... Um, Somebody is just in a space where they are trying to break the cycles that they are in. Maybe they even really mean what they're saying, but they're not supporting themselves enough. They're not supporting their decision enough. Oh, yeah, we got four minutes. That's just your baby, Dad. That's just your... Hey, all right? Somebody trying to figure that. What is this Ace of Cups? Ten of Wands, letting it go. Let's just let this baggage go. Let's just start over. It's a start over. What is this starting over with these folks, Chad? Seven of Cups. Is it a dream or is it a mirage? You know, you remind me like Mary J. Blige. J. Blige. J. Blige. J. Blige. Some bullshit, basically. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands and the King of Swords. This person may have two phones. I got two phones, one for the hoes and one for the, <laughs> and maybe they got two phones, okay, all right, let me see, honey, because I'm going to go, I wish that I could have saw y'all stuff, but hey, he told you he felt like you didn't support him, how do you want to be supported, and how is that going to help you, you got to, you know, how, how do, how can I support you then, what is it that you are looking for, because sometimes people don't even know what they're looking for, they just know that, they not. They may not. Sometimes people are not in a space because I don't know if it's this situation, but 
sometimes people be in a space where they don't really know what that means to them because they didn't have to be on their own so long. They had to be so independent so long. And handing over any type of help, uh, hand, uh, asking for any type of help or support, they don't really know what that means. They just want you to fall in line because they don't know themselves well enough or what have you. Or they're not, they may feel like it's a weakness or, you know, that's for weak people. Like, blah, 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 blah. I've been doing things by myself this long, blah, 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 blah. Well, go fuck yourself. How about this? Have fun. Enjoy. Mm. Mm, yay. You need um, other people to mirror you. You know what I'm saying? Get out and, and touch some grass, touch some ass, okay? But not necessarily, you know, give handed it over. Whatever. Let me see if you ain't really messing with them like that, okay? To each thing on. There's so many different levels to situations, right? What do you have here for these beautiful people? What's going on? What's, what's going on? Ten of Pentacles. This person may want to marry you. This may be someone who you want to try to find some balance with, but it's like you're waiting for them to show up and show out. Three of Wands and the Page of Wands. You wait for them to come through uh, here. Like Two of Cups and the Page of Wands. Some type of message, some type of uh, togetherness. This is taking it to the next level, whatever that means to y'all. Seven of Swords and the, and the Two of Cups. Just don't trick yourself off your own motherfucking square, okay? Don't hold so tightly to words that you uh, look over actions, okay? can be the most minute thing, all right? You can pay attention to a person's body language when y'all out in public and know what kind of hoe you're dealing with. Um, you can pay attention to, you know, because some people get real fidgety. Don't let no ass walk by. They get real fidgety. You ain't got no control. Damn. You ain't seen ass before? Okay. Especially people who, you can't take them nowhere. They, like, y'all, you know all the bitches. I mean, you know, it's levels to the game because some people do know a lot of bitches, right? Maybe they work have to do with bitches, right? They could be a DJ or work at a strip club. Who knows? They just know a lot of bitches, right? It's the interaction. It's the way that they, like, why are you trying to act like you don't know that person? Because <laughs> some people just done spread they up there. You can't go nowhere with them. You can't go nowhere with them because somebody somewhere going to be, oh, I fuck with them too. Like, okay, so, you know what I mean? That's why when people be like, women can be ran through, but men can't. No, 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 baby. Because don't nobody want to be with no man that a whole lot of women can, you know, say that they got dibs on any type of way. Oh, yeah, I was sitting on your old man face two years ago. He's so nasty. And then they get to, you know, because women is some, some motherfuckers. Y'all know that. Get to telling you all type of stuff. I ain't went through this, but I'm just saying I didn't seen it happen. I ain't been through it. And I ain't trying to go either. Knock on wood. I ain't trying to go through that. I'm telling you, exes and smiley faces, bitch, I don't feel like playing. So, don't nobody want nobody that everybody, like, been, ran up and threw down like that. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, everybody? Can't go nowhere. Can't take them nowhere. Like, you know what I mean? You can't go nowhere. You got to go 30 miles outside of your zip code. Because this motherfucker done fucked the whole zip code. All right, we got two minutes. Let me go. Hold on. Let me finish up. They can stir. Men got eyes. They going to look. They going to stir. Some of them, it's a perverted stir that they be having. It's like, okay, you are very sick. Because it's like they literally be... That's why you got to check your man's pockets and see if he got a hole in any of his pockets. Because someone be pocket pulling too. You got to know what kind of man you're dealing with. Look at the shape of the eyes. Do the shape of the eyes change? Do the pupils dilate? It's certain things that you look at. Like, you know, you're just a really extremely freaky motherfucker. Because men are perverts. But, you know, it's levels to perversion for them. Okay. What do you have here? Whatever. <laughs> Diddy Tommy. Whatever. I'm just saying it's levels. You got to know kind of how you're dealing with and if you can tolerate it. Because you're going to know real quick. What information do you have here, Chad? Seven of Cups, man. Do not be in no dream world. All right? You're going to have some type of epiphany. Eight of Cups, Page of Wands. Maybe you're going to get some type of message, see something that's like, wow. Interesting, really. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and the Eight of Cups. Maybe this ain't something that's built to last. Cause I'm the type of that's built to last. If you fuck with me, I put my foot. Gotta figure it out. Let me see here. What do you have? Got 30 seconds. 
the sun card, brighter begin, bright new beginning. This is something that's going to boost your confidence. This is going to be something that boosts your self-esteem. So how you handle it is, is totally up to you. You know what I'm saying? How far you go with this is totally up to you. Don't hand yourself over to the point where you out here sick. You sick and tired of being sick and tired. All right? Don't hand yourself over to the point where you don't understand left and right when it comes to a person. You know what I'm saying? You can't get nothing done because of this person and all this 